My name is Tammy Wilson, and I'm the National Sales Specialist at Stampendus. That's my day job, but at night, my passion is actually decorative painting. So when Fran developed our new jumbo stamps, of course she developed them for paper crafting, but with my background, my mind went into a hundred different directions of all the things that I could do using these stamps. So I started playing with them and came up with some projects that I'm going to share with you today and different techniques based on my decorative painting back. All right, our first project is going to be on wood and I'm going to be using the Peony Jumbo Cling Rubber Set. Now, if you're not familiar with the cling rubber, it's the exact same rubber that we use on our wood handled stamps, so you get this very nice detail in your design. The jumbo sets come with two images, so you're going to get the peony and the scroll. Now these are well used, I've been using these for the last couple of months to make projects for the um, upcoming show. And you're going to mount them to an acrylic block, so I'm going to set this aside for now because I don't I went need ahead it. and stamped my image and made um, a little template of the design and cut it out. This helps me to determine how I want to lay out my design on my piece. So I'm going to put my stamp down there and then I'm going to lay these other pieces in to see how they fit and determine my layout. So I know if I can fit three images in or four or five. And I, also, I do this on all of my pieces and I don't have to cut out every single image I'm going to use. I can visualize where the pieces are going to go. But this gives me a good idea of how I want to work. So now that I know how this is going to sit in here, I can also determine how I need my block to sit so that I can get into this kind of awkward space. And that's the reason I picked this piece. It's easy to stamp on a flat surface, and anybody can do that. But you need to know how to maneuver the stamps around corners or edges so that you can still um, work on a multitude of surfaces. So I'm going to bring this one piece in for a second to show you. And this is the, my peony box. And as you can see, it looks great on the top, but I went around the edges on this. So let me turn this up so you can see. And what I did is I used the stamp on the handle, stamped the image in, and then I just rocked the handle around the, the edge. So it would stamp the rest of this design. And then I rocked it back and then went back around this corner over here. I'm going to put out a small puddle of color here and I'm going to use a foam sponge. Now this is like a makeup sponge you can get in a beauty supply. Uh, you can buy them at the craft stores but what you want to do if you do buy them at a beauty supply make sure you get the ones that don't have any kind of an aloe or lanolin in them because you don't want to be using that on your project. You want just a plain foam wedge. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip it into the paint and then you're going to tap it off on the edge. And usually when I very first start a project I load it twice and then tap it off on my palette. And when you look at it you want to be able to see the texture of the sponge. You don't want to see a lot of wet paint. That's going to mean that you're, it's overloaded and it's going to be hard to load your stamp. And now I find this is the biggest problem people have when working with a stamp is they tend to put way too much paint on. So you're just going to take this. I usually kind of start in the middle pounce this up and down, work in a uh, circular motion until the entire stamp is covered. Now acrylic paint does dry quickly so you have to be a little quick with what you're doing here. I usually go over it twice just to make sure I didn't miss any spots. Let's set my sponge down and then I'm going to come back in here and press my design into place. Okay, I missed a little tiny bit there, but by the time I put this all in and paint it all in, you'll, you'll never know. So then what you want to do is actually you're going to go to the sink, 
put a little tiny bit of dish soap on here and use a toothbrush. It'll use a little circular motion and go through and clean this right up. It'll clean up really well and really fast if you do it right away. If you forget and you let the paint dry on there, if you do the dish soap first and then come back and use dish soap with a couple of spritzes of um, rubbing alcohol, it will um, dissolve the acrylic paint and these will clean up really well. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the scroll that came with the set and I'm gonna fill in some of this negative space. So I'm just gonna tap this on. Make sure it's totally covered. And I'm gonna come in here and just stamp this image in here. Now what I have planned and why it's not painted is once I'm done with all of this painting in here, I'll come back and paint the edges and I'm gonna put a border in here to fill in more space. The reason I don't do that now is if I accidentally bump it and get some paint on there, I don't wanna to have to go back and redo it. So it's just easier to wait and do it with it.